The mass shooting in Maine happened one week ago tonight. On Friday, President Joe Biden and the First Lady will travel to Lewiston, Maine. They'll honor the 18 mass shooting victims and meet with those impacted by the tragedy, some of which gathered at a candlelight vigil tonight in Lewiston. And the community is trying to heal one week later. They gathered tonight for a high school football tradition. The scene emotional, heartbreaking, and inspirational. Boston 25 News reporter Katie Brace brings us there tonight. The events of last week hung over tonight's game. The names of those who were killed were listed in the end zone. But tonight was really about the community coming together for Lewiston Strong. The cheering at this football game was for the men and women who responded to last week's tragedy. When the Lewiston football team ran out, they waved a Lewiston We Are One banner. I can affirm with unwavering confidence that Lewiston's resilience has been proven and continues to shine brightly through these trying times. The mass shooting and manhunt postponed the big Lewiston-Auburn football game from last Friday. In a lot of sad ways, but I think also in a lot of good ways, has brought community together. <laughs> and I think this game embodies that community spirit. Let's get a whistle! Here we go! Here we go! A week later, Lewiston was ready to take on neighboring Auburn, but this time, they were no longer rivals. Defense! Defense! I don't know if it's really about the winning and losing. I really think it's about the two cities coming together. Um, it's been a rough, <laughs> rough few days, a rough week. 18 people were killed in the mass shooting. Their names were read before the game, and a moment of silence was shared among those in attendance. What's up? Superstar James Taylor sang the national anthem. It's a tough thing for the community, but the community's really rallying around everybody. And Last week, Lewiston High School was a command center. Tonight, became a football field once again. There were also several fundraising efforts. The concession stand proceeds and the fees that the referees would normally get for refereeing a game were donated to those directly impacted by the mass shooting. Reporting in Lewiston, Maine, Katie Brace for your local station, Boston 25 News. Katie, thank you.